types of rule sets so we will go ahead and discuss about this what are the different types of rule sets available in prbc and what is the purpose of each of these rule sets so if you look at here on the screen we have different types of rule sets first one is application rule sets there is nothing you are required to write this is available document is available in website and i have shared you i think and this video also will be available and production rule sets and branch rule sets and personal rule sets if you look at here open the application rule form so in the application rule form here what you see is called application rule set and if you scroll down and click on advanced what you see here this is production rule set and here you have sorry this is a uh, branch rule sets and the other one is shared rule set okay shared rule set is something different here branch rule sets and shared rule sets so now look at here so far what we have used is application rule sets in our programming so those will be accessed whenever you access the application as an operator operator profile will have these rule sets hierarchy defined look at here operator hierarchy will have rule set operator profile will have rule set hierarchy defined this is the first rule set and after that this will be accessed so like this you can go to the comparison and see here so iob vehicle so here you have iob vehicle and iob vehicle int and then iob v iob v int so after that it will go to framework layer in the framework layer you have multiple rule sets iob vehicle fw iob vehicle fw int in the same order it will be added okay so this will be available in the same order so if you want to go ahead and know what is the process the prpc access the rule sets what is the order sorry not process what is the order that prpc access the rule sets you can open the operator profile and here you can see what rule sets are being accessed and if you closely look at here apart from our application rule sets we have one more rule set admin at the rate iobv this doesn't have any versions and all admin at the rate iobv this rule set did you find anywhere here you don't find it in application rule sets or you don't find it in if you go to framework or if you go to implementation application both the places you don't find admin at the rate iv but now if you look at this rule set name this is exactly equal to operator name it is exactly equal to operator name see whenever an operator is accessing a rule suppose i have logged in as an admin as an operator admin at the rate iobv and i have one rule called customer details section if you go to sections here you have as it customer details section see customer details section is there in multiple versions it is there in 01 02 01 01 let me check in this so here you go view versions we have this is available in multiple versions 01 01 03 also it is available which is a lock rule set version 
suppose uh, sorry which is which is in uh, okay uh, suppose if i am going to check out this rule what is happening if i check out so now if i am going to suppose in the checked out rule i am going to delete two of the controls for our testing purpose i am going to run the flow which is requesting for this customer details form look at here customer details i will be vehicle insurance flow suppose i am going to run this so closely look at here the highest version has zip code and email address and version 3 010103 doesn't have that so which rule has been executed now at run time highest version has email address and zip code and the one which i have checked out is not available with email and zip code which one has been executed now which one has been executed is the checked out version has been executed see 010103 suppose if i am going to discard it now if i am going to discard now it will be restored back to the one uh, the original one 010103 is this rule when i check out suppose before i check in i am doing a modification so i am not going to check in so now this is a different version than 010103 it is not there now your 010103 iob vehicle 010103 has all the properties whatever that we have seen before and after i check out this rule whatever that you see here it is not there in this rule set so in which rule set this checked out rule is available is it will be available in personal rule set personal rule set so now this rule checked out rule is always available in a personal rule set of an operator so personal rule set you don't see that as a physical rule set here in the application rule form you don't see it it is a virtual rule set which will be created for every operator with the name of operator id if i log in as admin at the rate iobv there will be a virtual rule set for me that is the name of the virtual rule set is at the rate admin at the rate iobb that is the operator id so that's why if you open the operator profile in the rule set order you see your application rule sets and you see your framework rule sets apart from this six you see another virtual rule set which doesn't deal with any of the versions which is similar name as operator id so let me log off from this upper okay let me log in in another version another se session sorry another session i am going to open and log in as iobb devop to password rules now here you go ahead and look at the operator profile of this person okay what is the what is the personal rule set iobb devop to @read something it has added so this is the virtual rule set or you can say it is a personal rule set of this operator any rules checked out by this operator will come at run time into this rule set usually you have a rule okay let me go through the paint to give you a better idea so this is rule set okay so this rule set name is r010101 there is a rule available called rule 1 rule 1 is available within this rule set so this is in a checked in this is in check in mode this is in check in mode see if i want to make any changes to it what should i do i have to check out so when i check out this rule when i check out this rule so what happens now is prpc takes or gets this rule into personal rule set rule 1 is available now now this is checkout version this you should not call it as 010101 
this is checkout version the name of the rule set here is operator id is being rule set name so here this is called as personal rule set suppose if i have 10 rules 10 rules if i check out then those 10 rules is called uh, th those 10 rules will be available in version respect to rule set version plus personal rule set at the runtime whenever i am accessing the order will be proceeded like this always in the operator profile it is going to first look at the personal rule set rules will be accessed and then it will go with application rule set it will go ahead with uh, framework rule sets and after your application rule sets and framework rule sets completes then prpc accesses otb rule sets that is the way of accessing okay this is clear everyone so this is what meant normal application rule sets we know this is what meant by personal rule set so here i want to add one more point that your personal rule set will be accessible only to you suppose if an operator log into prpc operator 1 personal rule set name is operator 1 that will be accessible only to him so you have a check in rule and a checkout rule checkout rule is there in personal rule set and whenever you are accessing that rule it will always take from your personal rule set suppose another operator logged in at the same time and he is accessing the same rule then for him the check in rule will be accessed because it is not there in his personal rule set okay that is the point okay this is about personal rule set next we'll coming to production rule